Hey friends, so today I'm gonna show you guys how I went from my natural curly hair texture to this blown out look using the Revere first ever reverse air dryer. The real question is, is this an efficient product? How does it compare to your regular um, hair dryer or blow dryer? So we're gonna be going through all of that right now. All right, you guys, so they sent over um, this air dryer. They're not paying me to do this video, but I definitely wanted to show you guys how um, it works on shorter natural hair. I have not seen many videos of it done on shorter natural hair, so I definitely wanted to do that for you guys. But as you can see, it came packaged quite large. This is a large, a large machine, okay? <laughs> And I love that they have everything covered. Like the, the branding on this is so nice. It's a nice sleek looking machine. But you know, I have my regular old handheld blow dryer. It's really convenient. And I'm just trying to figure out like, where the heck am I gonna put this thing? Okay, where, where is it gonna go? <laughs> but let's go ahead and get started. So my hair has been washed. Um, and it, it was actually washed a couple of days ago. I'm just re-wetting it here so that I can go ahead and show you guys how this air dryer works. So I got the big old, the big old time machine right here. <laughs> and on top it has an on off switch. That is the main power button. So this is the speed dial. The higher the number you go, the more power you give the machine to tug and pull to dry your hair. Sounds like a spaceship, right? But we're gonna go ahead and get started. So first I detangled each section of hair and then I simply just, you know, turned it on and put my hair inside of the wand. So in the little instruction pamphlet, it says that you need to start with a three inch by three inch section um, at the scalp. If your hair has a lot of volume, then you need to start slightly smaller as to not inhibit airflow in the wand. So when you hold it um, to your scalp, the wand should reach all roots. Um, by gently moving the wand mouth across the section. Gently dabbing the wand over the section works as well. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm just dabbing it across my hair, making sure that I'm getting those roots. And keep in mind that I do have the um, speed dial set to, I believe, six. And I'm gonna show you guys here because on the lower settings, it just was not getting it for me. So I do have it up high set to um, number six. So I am still going at it and here it is, you guys. It's getting dry quite fast and I'm doing this in real time so this video is not sped up. But I also want to show you the temperature control. So it has three settings. It has a warm heat setting, it has a cool shot, then it has a higher heat setting. So when I first did it, I set it onto the warm setting, and now I turned it up to the higher heat setting to see what it does. And you guys seen the results on the warm setting. Now I'm gonna show you the results on the higher heat setting. Let's see what it does. So it definitely, definitely straightens out my texture a lot more. Um, and I was pretty impressed by it, to be quite honest. Like, pretty, pretty impressed, and it works pretty fast. And let me just tell you, the power um, number six was not a lot of tension on my hair. So I'm just like, huh, you know, number two really wasn't doing anything. Number two, and they say to start at number two or three, but that really wasn't doing anything for me. I needed a lot more tension because I'm guessing I have a lot more texture. So I definitely, you know, wanted to turn up the dial. But they do, and the pamphlets say that for curly hair, uh, the average amount of time per section should be 90 seconds. For curly hair, 60 seconds. For wavy hair, 45 seconds. And then for straight hair, 30 seconds. So I'm doing this in real time, you guys, and it's it's correct, about 90 seconds it dried my hair. Um, so yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's pretty cool. The only thing is, is that my arms, like seriously, honey, you'll get a workout and you'll have nice toned arms <laughs> once you're done with this because the the wand is heavy. It's not a light, it's not a light. It's definitely heavier than my normal air dryer. So 
And on each section of my hair, I tried to start off with the um, low heat setting, but I realized that the low heat setting was a waste of time. I needed to go higher. And uh, in the pamphlet, the, the high heat setting is 800 watts, the low heat setting is 400 watts, and then the middle setting is just a cool shot. It is no heat. So I think I thought that was cool <clears throat> that it gives you options to choose which whichever one you wanted to do. But for me personally, with my texture, um, and in this particular area, my crown, oh my God, <laughs> I definitely needed a higher heat setting. So I'm definitely setting it higher so that it could, you know, straighten out that texture a little bit more. But yeah, if you have straight hair, I think that, you know, the low heat or even the no heat setting would be perfect. And if your hair is more wavier, then again, the low or the no heat setting um, would be perfect. I didn't use any um, heat protectant because when I pulled my hair out, it, it felt warm. It didn't feel hot at all. There's no steam from it on the high heat setting. So I'm just like, okay, it's, it's not even that hot. But I will tell you that the little wand part um, did get a little warm and I'll, I'll show you here in a little bit, but I felt it and it did get a little warm. So it ran across my ear one time and I was kind of like, ooh, ouch, that's kind of hot. I mean, it didn't burn me or anything, but yeah, this part right here got kind of hot um, when I constantly ran the high temperature. So I just want to let you guys know that to just be aware. But the real test was, is it going to dry my tapered back, the tapered parts of my hair? So I did the same thing. I detangled and I just placed the hair right into there. I made sure that the wand was at my scalp, okay, on the high heat setting. But I avoided that one part of the wand that was kind of high, that was kind of hot in temperature. Um, just so that I wouldn't burn anything, okay? But it's not it's not hot enough, I think, to burn you, but it did feel a little bit hot back there on that wand, so yeah. So I'm just gonna continue to hold that on um, the shorter sections of my hair. I just wanna see if this is gonna work. If it works on the shorter sections, that would be amazing because it would seem like this product will work for longer hair because of the suction, and if you have more hair, then it has the ability to suction or pull a little bit, add a little bit more tension, but with short hair, it doesn't really have anything to pull on, I guess, if that makes sense. But um, yeah, um, we're gonna test it right now and see how it works. So yeah, I have it the same on the speed, speed uh, six and then the high um, temp. And look at that, you guys. It straightened my little bitty pieces of hair in the back and I was so shook by that. Like, I was like, ooh, okay, cool. So if this works on short hair as well. So yeah, I'm gonna just um, put it back on there for a little bit more. It's still a little, it has a lot, uh, a little bit of texture and I wanna straighten it out a little bit more. So let's see what it's gonna do. And then I'm gonna show you guys like the short, short sections of my hair and how it did get that part straight. So just continue to watch. So you guys, this is what my hair looks like after I have straightened it fully with the Rever <laughs> reverse air dryer. And my overall thoughts, this is a really cool like product. It's a really cool invention. It's really innovative. And the fact that you can use less heat, okay? I'm considering this less heat because that 800 watts on high temp did was nothing for me. You know what I'm saying? My hair didn't even feel warm. But the fact that you can use a low um, low heat and still get you know a nice blown out look is amazing. Four hundred dollars is it worth it? Uh, eh, you know, I mean, to each his own. I don't think I'll be paying four hundred dollars for an air dryer just because I'm cheap, <laughs> and I just can't see myself paying that much money for a hair dryer. I look, I'd, I'd rather work harder. You know what I'm saying? With my little video blow dryer than to pay four hundred dollars. Is it easier than your regular blow dryer? It's heavier, so I, in that area, no. But as far as the amount of time that it takes to dry your hair, it's nice. I don't really have to do too much pulling and tugging and brushing at my hair with this product. All you have to do is place your hair inside the wand and that's it. Um, with your regular air uh, blow dryer, you either use a comb or you, you do the tension method and you know, you're kind of, you know, you're doing a lot in that moment. So yes, this, this definitely does work faster than your regular blow dryer. Um, I think the setup time and, you know, pulling it out the closet and things like that, I don't think it'll be a hassle, but, you know, having somewhere to put it 
it's it's kind of big, you know. <laughs> but overall, I do like it. I'm so glad they sent it to me. I will be using it over and over and over again. Um, but yeah, you guys, check the description box if you want to link to um, the rever this reverse air dryer if you're interested in purchasing it. Um, let me know if you've tried it. Have you guys purchased it? Have you picked this up? What do you think about it? What do you think about my results versus longer hair? Um, what do you think about it on my shorter hair? Let me know. Let's talk about it in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you. Um, and I will talk to you guys on my next video. Bye.